Hello, I'm Wayne McCullum, the Regional Biodiversity Coordinator for Canterbury. Um, in Kaikoura on a sunny day in February 2010. Today I am with Lindsay Rowe from the Hutton and Shearwater Charitable Trust. We're just looking at the conservation initiative here, which is trying to establish a insurance colony for Hutt and Shearwater. Hutt and Shearwater actually breed way up behind us. We want to pan the camera around there, Jeremy? Maybe a bit quicker? <laughs> <laughs> up there, is where Hutt and Shearwater live. What we're trying to do, or the, the Trust is trying to do, is to establish a colony down here because the colonies up there are in danger from things like wild pigs, avalanches, natural events. So, Lindsay, can you tell us something about your project and what work you do here? Over three years we've brought down nearly 300 chicks from the mountain colonies and we've put them into burrows here uh, and we've fed them for anything up to about a month, a feed of sardines and water, and when the birds are ready to go, uh, they just take off and head off to Australia. Uh, but what we're doing here is we've been looking around this year for birds that are coming back, some of our early chicks. And our burrows, we've got three metal pegs over the entrance, and if those pegs are disturbed like that, then we know there's been a bird come into it. Uh, so every time we come out here now, we check those. And we check into the nest box itself. Again, to see if there are any birds. And being February, these birds have already, any that were around here, have already headed back to Australia. So Lindsay, one of the, one of the special features of this and what the, the Trust has put a lot of fundraising into is the establishment of this predator-proof fence. Now, it's the first time I've seen the fence and I know the community put a lot of work and raised like $250,000 in a very short space of time. Can you just tell us something about the fence and what it's designed to achieve? The fence is designed to keep out all predators and small from mice, rats, stoats, cats, which are the main ones. The bottom part of the fence has got a mouse-proof mesh. It was made in China stainless steel marine grade so it's going to last us for a long time. The top part of the mesh is rat proof uh, and then we've got this capping on the top which will keep out anything that wants to jump so cats won't be able to get in, uh, anything that can actually climb up the mesh uh, won't get in either. So we've got a bit, just over two hectares here and it's probably going to take a several hundred years to fill it up with birds from the numbers that we've brought down. So if we come here in 10 years time, um, Beasley, what would you like us to see? During the daytime, nothing. Nothing. Uh, at night time, if you're around here, we'd like to see birds flying all around. Um, at this stage we don't know how many uh, we'd like them to see, but we're certainly we have got birds coming back now, which have been coming back as two-year-olds, as three-year-olds. So in another one year, perhaps some of the older ones might be thinking about breeding. Um, five years we should have a breeding colony here and there should be chicks in these nest boxes during the day. I've also got Jody Denton here from the Kaikoura District Council who is also Secretary of the Trust. How has the Council sort of collaborated with the Charitable Trust, Jody? It's been a, probably a gradual process right from uh, a few years ago when Council was involved with working with the private landowner from the only privately owned colony up the top of the Pui Pui Valley. So council became involved with the landowner at that point and I guess it's just been a bit of a natural progression from there. But um, obviously some of our work is involved around increasing levels of biodiversity so yeah it's a fantastic project for council to be involved in along with a whole heap of other representatives on the trust. Yeah, right. it's really good. And what does the Hutton Shearwater mean to Kaikoura? <laughs> um, well, I guess originally it would have been a food source for the local Ngāi people. Um, but now, obviously, it's, it's an icon, really. This is the only place that they come back to nest in the whole entire world. So it's um, pretty special for Kaikoura to have. Yeah. It's our version of the Kiwi. <laughs> so, there you go. Sunny Day in Kaikoura, learning about the biodiversity and the community's efforts to help preserve the Hutton Shearwater. Thank you. <laughs>